Hey y'all, welcome back to Commonwealth Pickham. My name is Kevin. We are not in the Commonwealth cabin. Somebody reminded me that my uh, my Sunday video usually comes out and it's us outside. And I forgot to do that this time. I think it's because it's getting dark so early. <laughs> and I forget to get out here before it gets dark. So the sun's going down behind us or it's just about gone down. And we have some cool sales today. But one item just seems to be flying off the shelf. Like it, uh, I guess I kind of suspected that it would. I thought maybe a little slower than it sold, but it's selling pretty good. And we're gonna let you take a look at that and some other ones that we're excited about. Let's go take a look. All right, y'all, now we are in the Commonwealth cabin and we still thank you for joining us turner's here with me because the girls are gone tonight huh yeah. gymnastics right <laughs> at any rate we have some cool items that sold and we made some viewer sales today as well and we always appreciate that and one item sold i think to a viewer but i'm not positive the reason i think it was to a viewer is because we aired a video on commonwealth picker the other day that had this item in it and not more than 20 minutes after the video aired somebody bought it so i'm thinking maybe it's a viewer but i don't think they left a message so let's check it out hey first item is this shirt it's not what i was talking about this wasn't in a video the other day we've been selling these off for a long time although there is something that happened on saturday just like that video that i think sold something else that probably sold this so liberty university beat virginia tech beat the virginia tech hokies which is one of the most miraculous wins certainly around here in a long, long time. A little bit contentious in my house, I have to say. <laughs> so my wife, you know, I grew up in California, so I like the Bruins, but my wife is a diehard Hokie fan, and you like the Hokies too, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> at any rate, interesting win, and I figured we'd sell a couple Liberty things. So far, this is the only one that sold. It is a men's medium polo, brand new. We paid $2, and it sold for, I think, 20 Let me look real quick. Yep, sold for $20 free shipping, so it's going to be a nice little profit on this because it'll ship out just probably around 8 ounces. All right, here is the other item. So it's this little bunny. And we have made a bunch of money on these bunnies, and I think, I don't know what I do with the other one. I moved it back there somewhere. And we've sold off some of the bigger ones, sold off the small ones. This, I think, is the last of the small No, I take it back. There's one more bunny right here. This one sold for $20, I think, free shipping. Nope, I take it back. This was $19 plus shipping for this bunny. I think this one was a buck. I love that sale. That was a crazy good sale. Matter of fact, I know I left so much there on the table. And you know, I've been doing this for a long time, but viewers will tell me, hey, you know, here's the timestamp. You probably should have picked this up if this was the right price. Sometimes I don't pick things up that would sell because the prices aren't right. But I did miss a couple things there and a few viewers pointed them out. But uh, I didn't miss these guys for sure. And it was the second day of this sale, and I was there at the end of the day. And so I didn't expect to find much. Plus, it looked like a collector was selling things off, and that usually means the prices are high. But I got there, and the prices were amazing, which probably means that a family was selling off somebody else's stuff, and they didn't quite know the value of it. But I was happy with this sale for sure. $20 plus shipping. We're already in the pure profit, so this is going to be pure profit of around maybe 16 bucks. All right, next item, I keep these up here. This is a lot of two Jerry Garcia Twisted Radio Waves CDs. And this is going to a viewer slash creator. This is going to Anthony over at Bluegrass Picker. He has been uh, supportive of our channel for a long, long time. And he told me a long time ago he was going to grab some of these. And he finally did. So Dr. Demento, Jerry Garcia Twisted Radio Waves. Anthony, thank you so much. And if you all haven't already, go over and check out Bluegrass Picker. Maybe I'll put a little something on the end of the show for you. So thank you so much. We do appreciate it. And I forgot to tell you, those are $8.95 free shipping on those. And I bought a thousand of, actually, did I buy 2,000? I bought two giant boxes. I bought 2,000 of those. And I paid five bucks a box. So I paid $10 for those and have been selling them off ever since. We will end up making, oh, I don't know, four, five, six thousand dollars on those two boxes. But I will probably be either in the old folks home or really, really close to it before we finally make all that money. Hey y'all, Pepper's in here with me, which never really ends well lately. She wants to get up on stuff. Hey, I have a gift here. It was sent and I just 
Couldn't believe it when I saw it, and I remember. I can't believe this is what somebody sent us, and we got that load of golf club head cover in a man, and we got this in the mail, and I just wanted to say thank you, and let's read this, and obviously, we have a bunch of these now, but we're going to do something with this. So let me read it to you real quick. What's going on, Commonwealth Pickers? This is, and says, uh, Kevin, so yes, Justin and Ashley Buchanan here from Ringgold, Virginia. Uh, which is maybe an hour from here. So we are still going hard at it uh, on the 12 by 32 cabin that we told you about. So I think the message, I think the message was in an email, but I can't remember. So, so Justin, you're going to have to remind me here. And of course, they bought an Animan and he's been moved around in the cabin shelf where he can uh, get a bird's eye view of what's going on. Right? You got that? <laughs> At any rate, check this out. Uh, we found the daddy of all in a man, and that is the truth right there. I mean, this thing is big. These things are big. They're selling like crazy here. Uh, we'll probably be out of them in maybe a week, and we had 40, so amazing. So I figured we would send it your way, maybe have an auction. Oh, my goodness. Here comes a cat. You're going to have to get it down, girl. I'm going to have to put you out. So the suggestion here is to do an auction and raise some money for charity. And obviously, that's going to be a little hard to do now that I have 40 of these things. So either we're going to do... I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are... Certainly, we're going to mention your channel here. And it's Southside Pickers. Southside Pickers. And I have it over here. There's Turner. Hi, buddy. Yeah, hi. So here's the channel here. Southside Pickers. And they have a shed. They had asked me about it. Here's the, the roof of their shed right there. They painted that. Yeah. I watched a couple of the videos the other day. And they go check their channel out for sure. And I think what we'll do is we're just going to make a donation. So we're selling these for right under $25. So we're going to make a donation to one of the kids' charities. Turner, which one do we think we should make it to? Um, what do you think? I'm thinking maybe Vinsky for Christmas. What do you yes. think? Either that or we could do I the animal about... shelter here in, in Bedford. What do you think? Yeah, I forgot about Vinsky. About you forgot about it? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not good. Yeah. We'll, we'll remember. So... That's very kind of y'all. Y'all are really, really nice. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for thinking of us when you guys found that thing right there. And we appreciate it. Look at this. He called me an OG. OG Commonwealth Picker. He says, we watch every night the original OGs. Commonwealth Picker. <laughs> Kevin, Lonnie, John in Cincinnati and part-time pickers. I don't know. I'll tell you what. I'm like the third wave, y'all. I'm the third wave. These guys are like second wave here. <laughs> At any rate, that is awesome. So thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to definitely make a donation in your name to one of their charities. I'll let you know in a coming video. All right, Turner said he's going to help me pick a couple items. I think we have three more items to pick. I'm going to show you Matt Part-Time Picker's heat gun for a minute. And we're going to do a little giveaway in a second. And I'll tell you what to put in the comments. I want to show you Anthony's channel here real quick. And Turner, we're going to pick those books right there. All right, first up is his channel right here. So he is, of course, a big Chiefs fan. There's Bluegrass Picker. And Turner is going to help me pick these books. Would you grab some of these? I can't grab them all and hold the camera here. So you can grab some books out. It's a great set. I picked this set up, I think, for $5. I am in the process of editing this video. And it was a great little sale that I decided to go to. There was a 100-mile garage sale around here. And so all the attention was there. So I decided to go to a slightly... <laughs> you got a bunch of them, don't you? All right. Well, bring them over here for me, bud. I decided to go a slightly different direction and hit this sale because I knew there wouldn't be much competition. And, of course, I saw tons of competition. But I got there second, I think, out of the competition. So I got some good stuff. And so did some other folks. So I wasn't uh, Matt part-time picker. Got to be the first one there. But doggone it, I was close. And it was pretty dark when I showed up. Unfortunately, this was missing one book. Or it would have been the full set. And this is a pretty cool little set right all here. Them? Yep, all of them. That's, okay. Is that it? Nope, there's still some more in the back, huh? So really, really nice set. I think I paid five bucks for it. They sold for $50 plus medium mail shipping. So I'm pretty happy. Girl, you're going to get in trouble back there. You're getting in the antique booth stuff. Can you all see that we're doing Christmas? We pulled all the Christmas stuff from downstairs back there. From downstairs, from upstairs. And we're bringing it all to the booth right now. Time to sell some Christmas stuff off. We store up holiday stuff. You, you having trouble? You having trouble? All right, hold on. I'm going to grab a few. The big play. 
You got it. They were in order, but I suppose it doesn't much matter, does it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll have some fun packaging those things up. And we got to go get Pepper back there because she's yeah. in the tub. Well, at least it's an empty tub. All right. Next item was a retail arbitrage item. And it was on clearance at Walmart. It's been in the store for a very long time. Like longer than I think I've been doing this show. And so that one is actually we have two of them. I might leave this one up here actually. I think I just might leave them up here. It's kind of cool. And we have one more and this one sold for $30 plus shipping on that one and I can't remember I think we paid 10 so it's not the most amazing retail arbitrage buy but you know we'll make about $15 profit on it. And last but not least right here is the Goomba which is another retail arbitrage item. I think this one's going out to a viewer, but I left the tag on it for two reasons. One, I wanted you to see what we paid, $3.89. It's on clearance. And these sold, I think this sold for $19. And I want to show you if we can get this little sticker off here using Matt's heat gun, and then we're going to give it away. Hey, bud, will you help me out here? Will you yeah. hold this camera? Do you think you yeah. can hold it still? Yeah. All right, you hold it down here. Yeah. Just like that. Hold it still. Maybe walk over here. And you can film me going this way, okay? Keep it right on there. Okay, and we're going to turn this thing on. And we'll heat it up. Can't do too much because it'll get too hot. Can you see it? Yeah. Kind of hard even with... There we go. Oh, yeah. Easy, easy, easy. That's pretty good. This thing should come right off for us, I hope. Yep, for sure. Easy. Got it. Okay, a little Scotty Peeler and uh, part-time Pickers heat gun. What do you think, Turner? You think that's cool? Yeah. Yep, and you know, that's not a hard one. Some of the good, one, good ones are a pain in the butt. These are Scotty Peelers if you're new. They're pretty cheap. Turn I think on. I have an affiliate link, but they're like two... 50 or you buy, I buy them in lots of like four and they last about a year or so all right so here's what they got to do turner they need to put last time we did be the first i think they should put part-time pickers in the comments okay and if you put part-time picker in the comment we'll do a drawing in a few days and we'll give one of these away to y'all and uh, send it off to you Hey y'all, I forgot that a viewer bought that and I want to give a thank you. So it says, it's from uh, Larry. My cousins are huge Mario fans and would absolutely love this. Thanks, Larry. So Turner, actually, I'm not even sure that's a viewer. They left a message. Every once in a while you get a message from a non-viewer. Maybe this isn't a viewer. At any rate, Larry, if you're a viewer, we appreciate it. If you're not, I still appreciate it. You're just never going to hear this. Did you keep one of those, bud? Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? All right, y'all, wherever Turner is, there is an animal. Yeah. Dobby. Some of y'all asked to see Dobby. Yeah. He's growing up. Yeah, he hmm. is. No tail, but he's growing up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Turner, what did you sell today? You don't have to pick him up. What did you sell? Um, This eight ball. And it's a person. little homie. Yeah, little eight, eight, ball. eight ball homie. It's $6 plus shipping for a little homie. And that actually came. I should have done that. Well, I'm not sure where that came from. I can't even remember. And what else? That puzzle? Did you put that puzzle together the yeah. other day? Yeah. You and Bubba and uh, Reagan and, and then, Erica? Yeah. Bubba's girlfriend. So y'all put that together, didn't you? And this is a golden book puzzle, Rescuers Down Under. And I usually give the kids a buck if they put it together. So I'm giving you a buck for putting it together, a dollar for to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. <laughs> That's right. And uh, it sold for $10 plus shipping, and we paid $0.50 cents for it. So not a huge profit, but, you know, 7 bucks certainly enough to pay them a dollar to put it together and to pay them a dollar for their store. So, all right. Say goodbye, Dobby. Bye. Hey, it's getting kind of late, and Reagan's still not home, so I'm just going to read one of the purchases really quick. She'll say thank you to the rest of y'all. I will often read a message off the CommonwealthPicker.com store. I don't always do that just because it kind of gets overwhelming. But I'm going to read this one to you really quickly. And then she'll be back and say thanks to the rest of you all at the end here. So I wanted to help represent CWP by purchasing one of Reagan's cute We Get Things Moving t-shirt designs. For one reason, your <laughs> it's hard to read this stuff. For one reason, your family 
represents wholesomeness not often found among families today. I love watching you guys work together and well, all that good stuff. So we'll just <laughs> cut it right there. But I want to mention one other thing here at the end. And she says that she is from Yadkinville, North Carolina, which I don't know where that is. But she says it's not too awful far away from us. And then if we're ever down that way, she'd love it for us to stop by. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to figure out where it is. And if we are ever that way, we're going to look up that store, Miss Emily's Antiques. So Lisa aka dress broker so thank you very much for those kind words we do appreciate it and this is headed your way all right reagan's just going to give a quick thank you to some folks and tell us how many ornaments are left only three only three more to go that's awesome well thank y'all who do who bought something today lisa scott which is pop the picker pops the picker lisa's liquidation and karen all right two lisas l-e-e-s-a and l-i-s-a huh what do you think all right, you tired? You just got home from gymnastics, didn't yeah. you? Okay. All right. See y'all later. And don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthSticker.com. <laughs> hey, we have some of these guys going out today. Let me show you in comparison how big this thing is in comparison. So for those of you who have an in a man, that'll give you the picture here. And yes, we do have more of these. <laughs> we'll we'll get them out there here eventually. So these are gonna sell first, I think. So we're down to thirty already. And we had 40, so 10 are gone. And we just put them out. So anyway, this is going to Dave. So this is going to uh, Midwest Picker. I don't I don't see a message on here, Dave. I think maybe you sent me one somewhere else. But uh, of course, I'm going to mention you anyways over at Midwest Picker. He, just like uh, Anthony out there, has been a really big supporter of the show for a long, long time. And uh, I'm glad this one will be in your backdrop of your videos over there on Midwest Picker. So we appreciate it. All right, I'm not sure I know how to pronounce this here, so I'm going to let y'all guess for me. C-H-A-M-P, it's like champ, right? And then Y-E, champ, champy, champ I? I'm sorry. <laughs> if I have, uh, I like the eBay store name, Flippy McFlipperson. <laughs> Flippy underscore McFlipperson. I'll just call you Flippy, how's that? So, hey, we appreciate it. And this one's headed your way. It says, love the channel and the knowledge you share. Thank you. So, thank you. And this, I don't know, are you a golfer? Hey, let me know. If you bought one of these, are you a golfer? Or do you just think it's cool? Is this going to be, you know, somewhere in an eBay room somewhere? In an eBay cave hanging up? So, at any rate, thanks. Got another one going out to Jasmine, and she asked for some autographs. My little silver pin is kind of getting... A little old. I'm going to have to grab a new one so they don't show up really good. But I did manage to get everybody in there but Bubba. And we try to get everybody. But, you know, sometimes if you want it, want us to sign it, we'll do our best. But sometimes everybody's not here. And we got to get stuff shipped out. So, at any rate, uh, I don't golf, but I must have this in a man. <laughs> May I get it signed. So, absolutely. God bless Jasmine. Thank you. And God bless you, too. And I noticed there's one going to Kristen. And that looks familiar because I think, Kristen, you bought something from the Homeschool Hustler store as well so i'm assuming you're a viewer if you did that so we appreciate it if you left a message somewhere i don't see it but thank you Kristen. we appreciate it we hope you enjoy and last but not least sandra and you know some of these may be going so i don't know if you're a uh, reseller or not i assume you are from that ebay name right there ready steady sells ready steady sells got to be a seller so you got to be a, a viewer but i know that these things whenever they come out on the market they do sell. They're not often on eBay, and they definitely do sell. Something just sold. I don't have my cha-ching on, but something just sold for pretty good. Ooh, I like it. I guess I'll keep it a secret. I turn my head this way because the alerts are going this way on my phone. <laughs> $47 sale. That's good. Some t-shirts. So you'll see those probably in a day or two. So at any rate, uh, this anime is headed your way. Thanks. Hey, we are going to head outside and do a Homeschool Hustler store sale, although we might have already put it on the earlier part of the video. Reagan's not home. She won't be home till late tonight, but we're going to see if... Uh, I think I might package this stuff up. She's been working really hard. And I think I'll give her a day off and maybe have her come in and say thank you, and I'll surprise her. Sometimes I surprise her by putting the chickens up in the coop because I really don't like to do that. And she didn't like to do it at 9.30 when she gets home from, from the gym. So maybe I'll surprise her and put the chickens up. Oh, I got to tell you a story. So, hey, Turner, come here, bud. Turner wants to tell you a story. We put the chickens up the other day, but something scared him. Come on, come here. 
All right, Turner's got a story to tell y'all, okay? Right. And you, by the way, Turner wears this, it's a little baseball cross because yeah. his older brother wears one. Yeah. And he tries to be just like Bubba, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't think Mama likes you wearing a chain like Bubba, but no. that's all right. We'll yeah. do it. So tell them about what you saw when we were up there trying to put the chickens away by the trash can the other day. A possum. It's all possum. <laughs> Did you like it? No. No, it's ugly, isn't it? It's hideous. What do you think it was doing? Eating the trash. Yeah, it was eating out of the trash can. At least it wasn't eating the chickens. Yeah. <laughs> but it was funny because the chickens were all up on the porch, all six of them. Yeah. And the possum was right there with them. Yeah. <laughs> so we had six chickens and a possum up on the porch railing. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, thanks, bud. Bye. All right, y'all. He just wanted to tell that story and I forgot, so I'm glad we got him in here. So thank you, as always. We appreciate it. We can't wait to see you next time. Mm.